You may be thinking we've flown all the way out here to the Caribbean, but you'd be wrong. We've come to Northern Poland to do an epic ride. Mate, I can't wait. We're gonna be exploring beautiful beaches and forests. It's gonna be so cool. And we are literally going to hell and back. What? To hell and back? I, mean, I didn't sign up for this. Mate, no, you idiot. Not the fiery realm of eternal damnation where evil souls are subject to punitive suffering and everlasting punishment presided over by Satan. Literally to hell. It's, it's a place down there at the end of this stunning peninsula. Wow, it looks absolutely mint. Yeah. Oh, Poland. Who knew? To do this epic ride and celebrate all things Poland, we thought it'd be an ideal opportunity to ride a Polish bike. Fortunately, our mates at Rondo have agreed to sort us out. Now, I have been doing my research and designed a route on Komoot that takes in these epic tarmac roads, but also some of the awesome gravel and fire roads that this part of the world has to offer. And to be honest, mate, we've got to go down them. I'm excited. Well, fortunately, Rondo has the perfect tool for the job. Oh. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get it. Come on. Oh, I wonder what he's gonna get. Check these out. Oh my gosh. They look insane. Hey, I'm sure one. Look at that. What's it actually called? The Rondo Hurt? 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 It's pronounced Hurt. Oh. The Rondo Hurt. It's an aero road bike, ideal for racing or riding down roads like this at 50 kilometers an hour. Well, what, what you do. <laughs> but uh, it's also got some tricks up its sleeve, making it ideal for those gravel trails you run about as well. Right, mate, I reckon without further ado, we need to get on these things. Oh, I'm excited, mate, you ready? Yeah, man. This is gonna be good. Nothing like a solid headwind. Our route will take us along the stunning Hell Peninsula, literally, as Ollie says, to hell. Then we will ride back along the peninsula into the mainland along the Baltic coast, where we will loop round on a mixture of forested roads, gravel trails, and beautiful plains, and past late Zanaverki, and back towards the peninsula, just north of a town called Puck, yeah, you have to spell that one correctly. And then it's to the finish. Right, before we go to hell and back, I'm gonna tell you a bit more about the Hurt. So, fundamentally, this is a bike that's designed to go fast. It would be equally at home in a criterium, a road race, or just blasting down one of your local rapid roads. Consequently, it has all the features of an aero road bike. So you've got drop seat stays at the back, cam tail and flat back tube profiles to reduce drag, a bladed fork and seat post, and some rather novel aero features as well, such as this, well, blade, well, fin on the fork here that covers the front brake caliper. It's designed to smooth the airflow over the front brake, but regardless of how much drag it saves, it just looks absolutely awesome. The geometry is aggressive, allowing you to adopt a low and aerodynamic position, and also alluding to the bike's racing credentials, you've got these rather trick two-tone deep section wheels from Hunt with the Rondo graphics on, and they're tubeless ready as well. At the back, we have some compliance features, so if you notice the rather interesting looking seat stays that curl round at the back, they're designed to bow slightly, which is a rather clever little idea. Now, this is where the list of features on most aero road bikes ends, but the Hurt has some additional, rather unique and clever features. Check this out. The geometry is variable. Thanks to this, the twin tip fork. This insert can be taken out, flipped, and put back in again. And doing so completely changes the handling of the bike. 
you can go from a lower, shorter, snappier handling bike to a slightly taller, longer, more stable handling bike, ideal for rougher terrain or descents. And tire clearance is massive. It's even bigger than James's selfie collection. You can get 30 millimeter tires in here if you use 700 C wheels, but if you go for the larger volume 650 B wheels, where you can get up to 47 millimeter tires in there, huge. And uh, that's also facilitated by the dropped chainstay, which you may have noticed at the back. But that's enough of my yakking. Let's get on with the ride. idea that the landscape in this part of the world was like this. No. I mean, I'm completely ignorant towards it, but it's like the Midwest. It's Sunny. like Kansas. <laughs> I think we have locked out with the weather as well. Yeah, but I mean, look at it. Ollie, it's 30 degrees and I gave you one job. Yeah. And that is to put bottles on our bikes. Yeah, my bad. Sorry about that. But in my defence, I thought we were going to northern Poland, near the Baltic Sea. I thought it was going to be freezing. I thought it was going to be snowing. It's, th it's 30 <laughs> degrees, man. All right, all right, I'll let you off. But fortunately, I have put in a stop in the route, and I'm going to treat you to some Polish cuisine. Oh. Yeah. I look forward to that. Yeah, what do you think Polish food is? No idea, not a clue. You wait, you wait. <laughs> There's a treat in store for you. So this is an aero road bike, right? So you may be wondering why aren't the cables fully integrated into the bars and stem and frame? Well, I asked Rondo this and the reason is they could have done, but they've deliberately chosen not to because they wanted to keep the bike practical and good for traveling and things like that, especially considering it's kind of multi-use abilities. Which makes sense. Yeah, also this slot in the seat post do you know what that's for? Ah, now I do know the answer to this. Yeah. This is so you can easily fit a light or even a race number. And anyone who's tried to fit a light on an aero seat post will totally understand this because well, it's genius, it's isn't it? It's, it literally is genius. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Going through the woods, we've had some flat, we've even had some beach. I mean, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm loving these forests. I love forests in general. Yeah. Big fan. Got a lot of time for trees. And I was just thinking, you took that last town sign, so I guess here's my chance. Mate, a win's a win. <laughs> oh, mate. We're into a headwind now. How are you feeling? I'm all right, mate. The legs are woken up a bit. That's good. I'm all right. Well, we've got quite a bit to go, just to let you know, but we've got some surprise in there. What? You ready? Yeah. I can't wait to show you where this room goes. Right, by my calculations, the route will go straight on down there. Oh. But I'm slightly worried about our tyres because that looks a lot rougher than I envisioned. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about it as well. What's that down there on the side of the road? It appears to be two pairs of 650B Hunt wheels just left by the side of the road. What? What are the chances of that? have believed it. It's almost as if it's been staged. All right, let's go put them on. Let's do it. I'm excited now. Oh! Look at these. Oh, look at that. There's a note. Free to a good home. We're definitely a good home, aren't we? Let's do it. Right, I think we can't carry our wheels, so we should probably just leave them here. 
free to a to a good home. All right, let's do it. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? It kind of makes this surface feel like you're just like floating on top of it. Yeah, so much fun. And it's just like, it's way transform the bike. It's like two bikes for the price of one. Yeah, well, the thing is, the intention of the bike is that it's for someone who spends 90% of their time riding on smooth tarmac. But when they see some awesome gravel like this, they don't need a whole nother bike. They can just, well, they swap the wheels out if they want to and it's there. But You've also got those adjustable axles to change the geometry. And the intention there is not that you would have one geometry for on-road and one geometry for off-road, but you've got the ability to tweak the geometry to your own personal preference. So but you like the kind of more nimble, I don't know, a bit more agile. A bit more aggressive, let's say. Yeah, <laughs> kind of handling bike. And I like something a little more stable and predictable. And, and gentlemanly, would you say? <laughs> If you say so. Here we are. It's on the right here. This is it. You ready for some Polish cuisine? I sure am. Oh, that was good. Yeah. So we made it to the cafe yeah. and I've ordered us some food, mate. Good, because I'm starving. But I'm going to be honest, I did struggle with the menu as it's all in Polish. <laughs> but that aside, I think I've ordered the most traditional Polish cuisine. Right, I can't wait. What is it? Well, it's called uh, Pierogri. 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 <laughs> so, it's something like that. Well, whatever that is. is. I hope no, it tastes good. Pierog yeah. This is Polish dumplings. Pierogri. I like that. Yeah. What do you reckon that is? Well, did you realise, Hank, that your genius route is actually taking us past the ruins of a Soviet-era nuclear power plant. A nuclear power plant? Dude, we need to go. No, nah, no, nah, it's all right, mate. Don't worry, it's safe, it's safe. Have you not seen Chernobyl? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, it was never, ever completed. It was never turned on. It was never radioactive. Uh, it's completely safe. We're fine. I We're bet fine. you got some more geeky facts, haven't you, about this? I do, as it happens, <laughs> I do. Go I mean, on, then. So, when they were building this, the plan was it was going to use the water from a local lake as the coolant, and they were going to circulate the water in and out, in and, well, out of the lake and back into it. And in doing so, that would have raised the temperature of that entire massive lake over there by 10 degrees. Nat <laughs> natural <laughs> jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah. But they never finished it. No. Anyway, pretty cool, isn't it? That's wicked, isn't it? I wonder what that bit was. Huh. Hmm. Right, mate, we're on the back straight of the route and it's, it's all, well, pretty much tarmac. But to be honest, I think I'm going to stick with these 650s. I'm glad you said that because I have been inclined to do the same. I, I've not ridden 650Bs before, but it's been a bit of an eye-opener for me and they're just so much fun. They are, aren't they? And we're, it's not like we're in a race. We're not doing the Tour de France. We're just out having a good ride, enjoying ourselves. and the added sort of comfort you get from the bigger volume tyre, it's great. So it's a bit strange they're on an aero bike with these wheels, but there's something about it. It's just fun. Yeah. That puts a big smile on my face. Yeah. All the way back to hell. Full gas. Yeah. Now maybe I can put the 700C back in. I'm going to have to try and keep up with you. Oh, Come on, mate.
getting close to the end now, but it's been amazing, isn't it? Oh, absolutely <laughs> beautiful riding around here. Look at that. Stunning, isn't it? Yeah. It's beautiful coastline, beautiful forest. I love it. I have to say, it's been cool riding 650B wheels on a bike track because it's just a bit more relaxing, isn't it? Do you know what? I can get used to this. Yeah. They roll really well. I've never ridden 650B wheels before, but a bit of, a, bit of an eye opener for me, to be honest. Look at this! What an ending! Woo! It's like we're about to cross the world. I'll tell you what, mate, when you think of beautiful places to come ride a bike, Poland isn't a place that before coming here would have ever have sort of been in the forefront of my mind, but well, how, how wrong we were. I mean, but it's been stunning, hasn't it? And yeah, we've amazing. got some amazing roads some bike paths and some fire roads too. If you've enjoyed getting a look at maybe a new country, then do let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, give this video a like and share it with your friends. And well, fundamentally, I mean, it's just great to ride in a cool new place on some cool bikes. With beautiful weather. Yeah, and good company as well. Oh, thanks, mate. I want to come back. Do you want to come back? Poland, yeah. who knew? Well, the Poles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>